All right, welcome to the LIGBT Super Tournament number seven, final sh five shootout. We are in for some big money here. Over ten thousand dollars is on the line. Winner getting five thousand. Let's meet the final five. First up, Mr. Justin Lakaitis from Baldwin, New York. Justin has a club average of 170, getting 36 pins. And next to Justin is Mr. Wesley Grant from Uniondale, New York. Wesley has a 165 average, getting 40 pins. And next up, Mr. Charles Cole from Palisades, New Jersey. Charles has a 154 club average, getting 50 pins. And next up, Mr. Andrew Bakevich from Dix Hills, New York. Andrew has a 178 club average, getting 28 pins. And last but not least, Mr. Young Joe Fark, our senior who was added to the finals, because we always guarantee a senior. And Young Joe has a 180 club average, getting 27 pins. Okay, shake hands, and let's get this match rolling. We had almost 500 entries this weekend. We're down to the final five, and they are bowling on a very difficult lane pattern. It basically was Audubon. All right, and on the right will be Justin, and on the left will be Mr. Farker. Let's go over the handicaps. Getting all the pins is Charles Cole, 50. Wesley, 10 less, is 40. Next is 36 is Justin. 28 is Andrew. And last, with the least amount of pins, young Joe Farr. All right, here we go. First shot of the match, and it is Justin going. Jersey leaving just the three. Not a bad shot. All right, remember, $5,000 first, $2,500 second, 1250 third, 1000 fourth, seven fifty fifth. And Mr. Fark going down the middle, breaks it off, leaving just the nine, uh, a nine count, just the six pan. We're here at AMF Garden City, it's Sunday, March 1st. This is Steve Sanders from the LIGBT, and we're so happy you're joining us. And Justin hits the pin. He was a little nervous, but he did just fine. All right, that's not next, Mr. Park trying to convert that six pin. And he's all over that. Well done. Young Joe throws a very, very nice ball. Now, as far as the titles go, Justin looking for his first title. So is Wesley. So is Charles Coe. Andrew's got two. And Mr. Falk has two. All right, two-handed. And going high, leaving the three, nine, ten. All right, here's a look at Andrew on Storm Staff. Going way right, hooking it back. Ripping the seven pin down. So we've got our first strike. Right. Charles, let's see, this is a tough spare. He's got the back pin there. Does he make it? Oh, good try, leaving just the nine pin. Charles, only 19 years old. He's a student. Bowls out of Boulder City in Hackensack, New Jersey. All right, Justin Makaitis. He's the next youngest, 24 years old from Baldwin, New York. Here he goes, flicking it up, missing a hit and left. Leaves the one three, so he did fine. Now Wesley Grant, a very good bowler. He actually bowls with Andrew on the same team in Farmingdale Lanes. Wesley's a personal trainer. Going Jersey, leaving the three pin. Now, the lanes have been bowled on for almost 12 hours. They were not re-oiled, so what was put down was difficult, and it's been made harder by hundreds of games pulled today. All right, here comes Justin making the nice spare. Now, Wesley looking for an easy one-pin spare. And he's all over it. Well done, well done. The Super Tournament consisted of seven squads, two Friday night, two on Saturday afternoon, and three today on Sunday, finished up by a Desperado which is a one-game shot for bowlers that have bowled in at least one squad. Total of 82 finalists here. 
sharing almost $30,000. Charles going Jersey, leaving the five pin. So the LIGBT runs three of these super tournaments. The next one, Memorial Day weekend. And then we come back with Labor Day weekend. The Memorial Day weekend will be at PMF Babylon. All right, Mr. Farr, going high. Oh, look at this. That's never going to pick up that four pin. It was a two pin, became a four pin. Uh, it's got to go back to the four pin, the, uh, the two pin, the original number. And Charles Coe. Charles Coe makes this bear. All right, we need to put up a pin. Lane eight. Tell her lane eight. Just Curtis, tell her lane eight. She said lane nine. Eight. She has no clue. You're gonna have to tell her. Lane eight. All right. Wesley Grant on the left lane, walking off a spare. All right, going Jersey. Oh, leaving a six nine ten. All right, we're waiting for the mechanic to add the two pin on lane eight. Here comes Wes. Nice spare for Wesley. Well done. The prize fund was so strong today that 13th place was at least $500. 13th place was $500. Everybody that made the finals, 82nd place was $150. There we go. We've got the spare we were looking for. Next round was 250. So went 150 round one, 250 round two, 500 round three, and then here, 5,000, 2,500, 1,250, 1,000, and 750. So a nice solid prize fund for these LIGBT bowlers. All right, now we're back to the action as Mr. Park. Oh, playing strategy, going to left side. Good try. He gets just two, but nice try. That was the right way to play. So, Young Joe has his first open of the match. Andrew now working on a strike. He has the only strike in the match so far, as we are still early in frame number two. Right, Andrew, playing a deep line, going high, drips the four, but leaves a rockin' ten pin. So it could have been disaster for ten split, could have been a strike. He leaves just the ten, and I think he's pretty satisfied. All right, third frame, Mr. Farr working off an open. Young Joe, this ball looks pretty good. Ten in the pit, Young Joe likes that shot. Mr. Fark is a small business owner. He's 57 years old. All right, Andrew, converting that 10 pin with ease. Nice spare, Andrew. Andrew's a project manager. And bowls out of Farmingdale Lanes. Among others, I think Andrew bowls in multiple leagues. Andrew qualified as the squad leader on Saturday at 3 o'clock with a 7.14. Justin going Jersey leaving the 5.9. Andrew quickly back up, third frame. We'll take a look at the scores after three frames. Amazing how different lines were played on this shot. Some were playing straight up, some were playing deep inside like Andrew. This one could go high, and it does, leaving the 6-10. Andrew's an expecting father, as his wife Katie is expecting their first child in August. Congratulations. 
And Justin, hold on. No, he leaves just the five pin. So that's Justin's first open. Justin getting 36 pins. Charles is getting the most. He's got one open so far. Andrew using the spare ball, making that spare. All right. Charles now going for his third frame. Working a spare. All right, Charles going high, leaving the six pin. So he's playing a line similar to Andrew. A little deep inside. Justin now going on his fourth frame on an open frame. And he's just flinging it up down the middle. Going Jersey! Way to go, Justin. Justin, it looks great on paper there, don't worry. All right, two-handed Charles all over that spare. Well done, Charles. All right, Wesley on the right lane for his third frame. Charles will be on the left for his fourth frame. Hmm? And he's plowing it for a 10 pin. Charles flinging out there. This one looks good. No, oh, gets the eight pin down, leaving the ten. All right, Wesley. All over that ten pin. Let's take a quick look at the scoring. After three frames, you can see Justin's already in the fourth frame. Got 81 with his handicap. Charles Cole now in his fourth frame. He's got 97 working on his spare. See Wesley three spares in a row, 76. This the Fark, 51 on a strike. And Andrew McKavich, three clean frames with 66. So we've got a good start to this match as we head into frame number four. And young Joe on the right lane, going high. Ooh, breaks off the four but leaves the nine. Young Joe rolled 740 in the 2 o'clock squad today to advance. And there he goes. Takes the spare. Well done. Andrew now will be finishing up frame number four. And Wesley doing the same on the left lane. Two good friends up on the approaches right now. All right. Wesley going jersey. Trip! The 6-10, he gets it. Okay, Andrew. Working off the spare. All right, Andrew. Oh, gets the break. Almost got a real break, but leaving the nine count is just fine as he went high. This should be an easy spare for Andrew. So right now, going into four frames, look at this, he had a brain fart, I cannot believe it. So right now, after four frames, Charles Poe is leading by one pin over Wesley Grant, 97-96, two pins behind them is Andrew McKavich, in comes Justin, and then last right now, Mr. Young Joe Fark after four frames, and Young Joe leaving the 6-10 in his fifth frame. There comes Justin. Jersey for the double! First one of the match. And that was a big one. So that's gonna put him back in the match. 
right on the top. And Mr. Park, well done, Young Joe, as he spares in frame number five. Charles now on the right lane, leading by one pin. Actually, Justin probably jumped into the lead with that double. And 11 more. No, he's still down six pins. Justin is down six pins behind Charles in frame number five. All right, here comes Charles. Come on, Charles. Ten in the pit, Charles. Fami got a good one. That's his first strike in the fifth frame. Andrews all the way to the left. Oh, this one he comes over the top on, baby. Uh, yeah, he didn't throw that one well. You could see that. 2 4 10. He did not throw that well at all. Kind of came over the top and it spun out on him. All right, Wesley now. On a strike, needs a double. 10 in the pit. Way to go, Wes. Andrew making the strike. Good try, Andrew, leaving just the 10 pin. So that's back-to-back -back opens for Andrew. We are through five frames. Quick look at the scores, folks. And you can see it is tight with Charlie just having an early lead. All right, Young Joe Park, 10 in the pit. So Young Joe, ready to show his prowess. Six frames. Gets the hit. All right, Justin, on a double. For the lead. Little light, leaving it. The three, five, six. All right, this six frame for Andrew. Come on, Andrew, let's get this back. He goes high, leaves a three, six, ten. Andrew's struggling a little now. He'll get it back, though. Andrew's too good of a bowler not to figure this out. All right, Justin flings it. Likes that spare. Well done. So Justin with a double and just one open so far through six frames. All right, Andrew. Well done on the 3-6-10 conversion. LIGBT's back in action next Sunday, that is March 8th. We're going to be at AMF Syosset for a two-squad event. Thousand guaranteed first. Charles! Oh, hits the ball a little hard and leaves the four pin. Great shot. Would have been a double. So that's Sunday, March 8th, over at AMF Syosset. We hope you can join us if you're in the neighborhood. Two squads, one and three o'clock. Entry fee only seventy-five dollars, sixty-five if you choose to re-enter. All right, here comes Charles making the spare. Well done, senior bowlers out there. If you're a scratch senior bowler, fifteen over that live in Long Island or New York City, the LIUSBC is running the Senior Masters this coming Saturday, March seventh, over at AMF Babylon. That's a noon start. Check out LIUSBC.com for more information. The Senior Masters, a four-game scratch tournament. Five-game scratch tournament. Wesley putting 10 in the pit for a triple. And he is looking good right now. <laughs> Wesley, clean. He's the only bowler clean, and he's the only bowler with a triple. Wesley's getting 40 pins, so he's in the lead right now. Justin, leaving just the six pin, going high. And Young Joe, going a little wide, but goes 10 in the pit for a double. What a great shot for Young Joe in frame number seven. All right, Justin, works in the insurance industry. Nice spare, bowls out of AMF Wontour Lanes, looking for his first title, shot 7-11 on Friday night to advance. 
So we've got bowlers in the final shootout from all three days of the tournament. Andrew, going Jersey here. Oh, leaving just a five pin. All right. Andrew changing balls, trying to find something with four frames to go. Charles Coe's only been a member for a year, and this is his first time in the final shootout. And he's looking great right now. This has one open. All right, he likes it. Oh, wow. Got the four down, left the six. He's throwing some strong ball. And Andrew, mm, marking it up. Well done, Andrew. That was seventh frame. All right, Charles Cole, let's see if he spares here. Charles, nice spare. Bobby. Wesley's leader. All right, here's our leader right now, Wesley Grant. Wesley on a triple. Let's see if he can extend that lead. Oh, this one going way wide. Oh, uh, gets a break, leaving just the one, two. Eight frame now on a spare. He's right in this match. Looking good. No, going high, leaving the three, six, ten. Wesley making the spare nicely done. All right, he has an 18 pin lead over Charles Coe. 18 pin lead. Right now, three frames to go. We'll watch Justin make his shot. No shot, well done. So let's take a quick look as we go into frame number eight. You can see Wesley on the bottom left. He's 174. And then 18 pins ahead of number two, Charles Cole with 156. And then Justin is another 10 pins behind that. Mr. Park going a little high, leaving the three pin. All right, Charles Coe now. Charles on a bear. Remember, second place he is. Ripping the rack! He's telling Wesley he's not done either. All right, nice strike. His second one of the match. All right, Mr. Far, all over that spare. Well done. So Andrew on the right, finishing up his eight frame. Wesley on the left. He's also finishing up his eight frame. 18 pins ahead of Charles, but Charles is now on a strike. Andrew has two titles, looking for number three, and Wes going wide. All right, six counts, so he doesn't split, but he loses four pins in wood, so that lowers the lead to 14 pins. And if Charles Coe doubles, it goes down to four pins. So we've got some finish coming up. All right, Andrew. Oh, no. Leaving the almost Greek church. Took out the 10 on it, so he's got an ugly open there. This is a tough spare for Wesley. This is to keep the lead. Oh, well covered, Wes. Well done. So he's got a 14-pin lead. Andrew. All right, getting two pins out of it. All right, we're finished with eight frames. You can see Wesley has a 14-pin advantage over Charles, but Charles has the ball. All right, behind there, uh, 20. Six pins behind is Justin, and then Mr. Far, and then Andrew in fifth. All right, back to the action. Ninth frame, here is Mr. Far. Oh, 5-7 goes down, and Mr. <laughs> Far likes it. 
<laughs> there he is. He might not speak English, but he knows how to act them out. <laughs> All right, here comes Justin. He's in third. Still alive. Oh, no! A 5-10. Tough break there. All right, Andrew in his ninth frame. Really whipping it out. He's lost right now, leaving the 1-2-8. Just tough split here, the 510, but it's makeable. Not that way. Field goal attack? No, he misses. Just gets the one. Needed to go on the other side. And Andrew, he's opening two. So, ninth frames haven't been good to Andrew or Justin right now. now Charles Coe can knock this lead down to four pins. Wesley. Right now, if Wesley, Grant, and Charles both strike out, Wesley wins by four pins. So he still controls his own destiny. Oh, this one, Charles goes way wide. Wait, wait, way too wide. Two, four, five. All right, so Wesley's lead stays at 14 because Charles was on a strike and lost no wood. All right, Charles, big spare here. Needs this to keep him with any title hopes. And he misses it. Wow. So Wesley Grant now just needs to stay clean and win. Still in second is Charles Coe. Third is Justin, fourth is Mr. Fark, fifth is Andrew, and Wesley Grant up in the ninth frame looking to secure the $5,000 victory. Here he goes, go Thursday, leaving the 6, 9, 10. Wesley looking for his first title, and if he gets it, it's gonna be a big one. $5,000. You give three $5,000 prizes away a year, and tonight is one. Wesley ran. Makes the spare, well done. Wesley, the only bowler that is clean, through nine frames. Quick look at the scores, you can see Wesley in front, 207. And 23 pins behind is Charles Coe. Behind him is Justin. Um, but Mr. Park can still go out with 238 to Justin's 221. So Mr. Park could come in third. And Andrew's still in last. Here comes Justin. And he goes, oh, gets a nine count. Okay, Mr. Fark now, if he strikes out, he will force Wesley to mark. All right, first one, big shot, plows it! A very key strike. Now, what did he do that for? He strikes out. Triple to a mark. Triple to a mark, right? Triple down. Right, he's got a mark. All right. Huge shot here. Young Joe needs another hit to have a sh any shot at the title or to move to second. He likes it. Going high. No. Leaves the 4-7. All right. So now that's 226. Now... 
Charles will need a double to move into second. Charles, Charles needs two to double to second. Right. So Charles Co is going to need a double to get into second place. Here comes Justin. Way to go. Way to finish. Justin Lakaitis. He shoots 175 scratch, 211 with his handicap. All right, Mr. Fark. Nicely done, Mr. Fark. Shoots 199 scratch, 226 with his handicap. Now, Charles Cole needs a double to finish in second. Which is this is a twelve hundred and fifty dollar ball. If he doubles. First one. He likes it. Oh, a stone seven. He's going to finish in third place. Here comes Andrew. Andrew leaving the two eight. And Charles, nice spare Charles. Charles is gonna finish in third place and win $1,250, well done. Andrew is gonna be in fifth finishing for $750. Nice spare by Mr. Mankiewicz. Andrew I know is disappointed, had, although he had a great tournament. Was hoping to cash big tonight. All right, Mr. Cole, Charles, getting the nine count. Finishes with 173 scratch, 223 with his handicap, good for third place. And Andrew, 10 in the pit, yes there is one. 146, 174 total. Wesley finishing up strong, getting ready to accept the five thousand dollar check from his wife. All right, Wesley, this ball doesn't mean anything. He's already got enough for the victory. No chop, finishes up with despair like a champion does. Bobby, give him the trophy. She's got a handful. Wrong. All right, Wesley, victory lap here, folks. There it is, our winner. Finishing up with a beautiful 203 scratch, 243 handicap, getting hugs. There's the big super duper trophy. There he is, our champion. Coming, Wesley, Grant's wife, and little baby. There they go, getting a big hug and a kiss. Congratulations, show the check. There he is, the new $5,000 winner, our first LIGB title. Congratulations to Mr. Wesley Grant. You can see 243 was the finish for 5,000. Second place, Mr. Young Joe Fark on the top, 226, 2,500. Third place, Mr. Charles Coe, 223, worth 1,250. Fourth place for $1,000 with 211 is Justin Lakatis. And last but not least, Andrew Mikhevich, 174, earning $750. Thank you, everybody. Have a good evening from the LIGBT.